Hello everyone, I'm Carolyn of Greenwood Fiber Works and I'm here today because I want to talk to you about some of my favorite stitches and those are slip stitches. Now the reason I love slip stitches so much is because they look so complicated and yet they're so easy that they're the kind of knitting that I like to do late at night. Just some late TV knitting, mindless knitting, I love it. So let me show you the shawls that I've made. These are what got me hooked on slip stitch knitting. And this is the Night Shift Shawl by Andrea Mowry. So let me turn you around here and we'll take a peek at a few of those. All right, so here are our shawls that I've made. In fact, I've made about half a dozen of these. They are so much fun to knit. So as you can see, the stitches um, look a little complicated, especially the color work. But believe me, it's so easy. So here is our first one. This is the weekend colorway, which is my favorite because it has a lot of subtle colors. And up here is a lot of my customer's favorite. This is dungaree, lots of denim colors. It's a great shawl just to wear um, casually just around the house to the grocery store or staying home because we're staying home a lot lately. And then up here is our really fun, bright, colorful one I made. We call this Parade. And if you take a look closely, you can see all these beautiful colored stitches. And they look a little complicated, like maybe you have to do a lot of stranding or Fair Isle or carry a couple colors at once. But actually, it's so easy, you only carry one color per row. And I'm going to show you how we do that here in just a moment. Got to keep looking at these fun shawls. I just love wearing them. Um, these are made with our DK Yakety Yak yarn, which is a merino yak and silk blend. And believe you me, it is so soft. You'll never want to stop wearing it. Oh, here's one more over here. Uh, this is made with some of our hand spun. And we actually have a hand spin spinners kit for this one. So if you like spinning, this is kind of fun. But again, doesn't that look complicated? When in fact, it's so easy. All right, let's get knitting. All right, so here we are. We're going to start knitting. And as you can see on our samples here for our shawl, this is the beginning of the shawl, you can see the little green dots in there along with the blue. And it almost looks like stranded knitting, but in fact, it is called slip stitch knitting and we only use one color across each row. Now this row, we are starting another row of our little green nubs that you can see right there. So we're using our green yarn. Now on the pattern, we are going to knit the first three stitches of every row because we're creating an eye cord edging and that is in the pattern instructions. So we knit three and then we make one right right here by lifting the strand between onto the left hand needle and then knitting through the front of it. And now we've just made one and that's what, is, that's what creates our triangle shape of the shawl. Now the pattern calls for us, we go, we're going to go knit one and then we're going to slip one with the yarn behind. To slip, we just slip it from the left needle to the right needle, just straight across like that. Very simple. Now we're going to knit one, and now we're going to slip one. Knit, slip, knit, slip. And we do this all the way across. And what this does is it creates what looks like stranded knitting, because we have one green and one blue across. So there is our row until we get to the last three. And the last three stitches of every row to create our I-cord edging, we bring the yarn to the front and slip those three stitches over. So we slip one, two, three, with that yarn in front. And there we go, that's our row. You can see it looks green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, all the way across. Okay, we've done run one row now with our green. We're gonna do a second row with our green now. So we just turn that around to the back side. The beginning of every row, we knit three stitches. And that makes that pretty I-cord edge. One, two, three. So you can see the I-cord edging right there. 
Now every time on this row we see a green, we're going to knit it. And every time we see a blue, we're going to slip it. But this time we're going to slip it with the yarn in front, just like this. So we knit the green, then we bring the yarn to the front and slip our blue over. Now we knit because it's green, now it's a blue one, we slip it with the yarn in front. And this is what we do on the wrong side row so that these floats where we were slipping are all on the back side of the knitting. So we knit the green, slip blue with yarn in front. Knit the green, slip the blue with yarn in front. And we do this all the way across until we get to the last three stitches. So we're just about there. Now down here, even though there's several greens in a row, we still knit those. We knit the greens and the last three, we bring the yarn to the front and then we slip the last three of every row. All right, let's take a look at how this looks from the front. See, look at that. We've got all those little green nubs from that row. Isn't that cute? And now we're going to knit with the blue. So we did two rows of green and now we're going to do two rows of blue. Again, knit the first three stitches. Very easy, one, two, three. And because this is the right side, we're going to make one R on this row. So lift that over the needle, knit from the front. There, we've made our, our stitch. Now with the blue, it's so easy. On this row, we knit every stitch in blue until we get the, to the last three stitches and then we'll slip those. So this row, we don't have to care if it's a blue stitch or a green stitch. We're going to knit straight across every stitch. Now you can see why this is one of my favorite late night projects and why I've made so many of these shawls. Once you get the rhythm of it, you just get going. Before you know it, you'll have half a dozen in your wardrobe too. All right, so we're down to our last three stitches. We bring the yarn in front of that needle and then we slip those three over. And that's how we create the I-cord edging. All right, we're gonna turn it and do the back side now in green. So you do two rows of the blue. Okay, first three stitches, we always knit. One, two, three. And because this is the wrong side with the blue, we're going to purl across. And we purl across until we get to the last three stitches because that's our I cord edging and we will slip those with the yarn in front. So there's our last three stitches. We bring the yarn to the front and we slip those. And then turn our work and let's take a look at it. Look, isn't that cute? They have all those little green stitches and the blue in between them. And it looks like we've done some complicated knitting when in fact, we're just doing knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. So now that we've done two rows of blue, we'll, we'll do two rows of green again, do the same thing, this pattern over and over and over until we finish the shawl. So much fun. This is the pattern itself. It comes in our kits. You can also get it on Ravelry. It's called the Night Shift Shawl um, by Andrea Mowry. It's just a fabulous pattern, so much fun. We do have kits put together and in each kit we have the pattern um, we have all the yarn in the right amounts for you, and I think you will really enjoy this project. Even if you don't do this project, I hope that you will find something to do with slip stitch knitting because I guarantee you, you're going to love it. All right, friends, happy knitting!